what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we got to talk about what happened on this episode of monday night raw shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream i appreciate y'all showing up as always um a monday night raw was in saudi arabia so they filmed this on i believe sunday so this was already pre uh taped but i will say this the saudi arabian crowd they were electric throughout the whole night they brought the energy and it made this raw that much more enjoyable so we're going to start off with Liv morgan coming out there with um dominic and raquel and basically she was gloating about how she you know the the live revenge tour is over with she you know got rid of Rhea for like the third time she took care of Rhea Rhea is done she won't be back for a while she ended up um winning the first ever women's crown jewel championship and now she's trying to extend her title reign and be you know uh, regarded as the best women's champion of all time so she said herself that the the, um, the the live revenge tour is finally done but i'm sure when Rhea comes back there will be some hell to pay and essentially she's just looking forward to seeing you know her title reign be a uh, long and illustrious and that's when jade music hit and bianca music hit and they go down to the ring and they say hey we remember what y'all said when y'all was talking about trying to you know maybe take our tag titles how about you try it right now and i like what Liv did here Liv was like whoa where, where is this coming from like y'all why y'all coming at me y'all won as well y'all should be happy or is it because the only reason why y'all are t uh are partners um is because of the tag titles see me and raquel we're actually friends in real life but y'all are only together because of the tag titles once y'all lose those Y'all will be at each other's throat. And I like the fact that she said, hey, Jay, better watch out. You know, if y'all lose them titles, Bianca may stab you in the back. I love the fact that Liv pointed out what we've all really been saying in the IWC. At some point when they drop them titles, they're feuding. And they teased that today, well, tonight, because uh, Adam Pierce came out there and said we're going to find a new uh, a number one contender and it's going to be in a women's uh, battle royal match. Now, a lot of times these women battle royal matches be just kind of meh. You know, you don't really too much care about it until like the last four women are involved. But the Saudi Arabian crowd, they were electric. They were saying this is awesome. They were, you know, oohing and on at every move. They made this women's battle royal match seem like the best battle royal match of all time and when it came down to the last five uh final uh four women but i believe it was bianca jade eo and uh lira a lira uh, valkyrie valkyria I, I i fucked that valkyrie my bad <laughs> i fucked that up but lira uh eo and jade and bianca was the last four women in the match and there was that standoff they didn't throw blows. They haven't thrown blows yet. They're teasing it. It was that standoff of like, hey, we got to do what we got to do. And that's when EO and Lyric got involved and kind of distracted them. But ultimately, they ended up getting eliminated by Raquel and um and Liv. And they got, you know, Raquel and Liv uh, pretty much ran away from them as expected. But ultimately, EO ended up getting the win. And uh, I think a lot of people wanted EO to get the win. So she's the new number one contender for Liv's championship. I do think it's going to be a fun match. Obviously, I don't think uh, Liv is losing yet. But they should have an entertaining match. And we'll see how things play out there. So that was quite enjoyable. We also got to talk about what they're doing with the Wyatt Six. So apparently... Um, I think this was right when Kofi and and Xavier were kind of having a back and forth. Uh, they were interviewed on what happened last week, and Kofi and Xavier were kind of going back and forth. You can see the tension rising with them, and then the screen cut and glitched to like this home movie style of the Miz somewhere in the in the shadow realm, tied up with tape over his mouth. But before we got to that shot, there's a footage 
of The Miz talking to Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. If you guys remember The Miz Taraj, and he was like basically saying, I'm going to make y'all uh, so famous that your families will be proud of y'all. Like, I'm going to make y'all big stars that your families can be proud of. And I love they tied that back to The Miz Taraj. I love that. So The Miz is like, yo, look, y'all don't have no beef with me. I'm not with the Final Testament. And you can pretty much hear, uh, you can hear, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bo Dallas, uh, Uncle Howdy, pretty much saying, nah, nah. We were never after them. We was always after you. Oh, this was so good of a callback. I love the fact that he brought up something that happened to Miz Taraj. I thought that I forgot that was a thing, and it never really went any, anywhere. And they were Miz was using them, so I like that he remembers that. And now he's getting his revenge, you know. And Dexter Loomis being the one to initially kidnap him like a few weeks back. Uh, I think it was either last week or something like that, where he was kidnapped on the tour bus, on his tour bus. This is so good. I, I'm very interested to see what they plan on doing with The Miz here. This could be very interesting. Next, we got to talk about, obviously, one of the highlights of the show, the Bloodline segment. Got to talk about that. So Sammy comes out there. Crowd loves Sammy. Loves Sammy. Super over. And he he's about to give his reasonings on why, what you know, what went down. At uh, Crown Jewel. Then Jay comes out there. Jay's not yeeting. Crowd's going crazy. But he's not yeeting. He comes down there and he's very serious. And he 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 all he wants to know. He, he's very thankful that he did help him out. But all he wants to know. And he wants to know the truth. What did he intentionally kick Roman Reigns in the face? Then Jimmy comes out. Jimmy's not smiling or nothing. He's mad. He, and he comes out there. And he's like man. Oos, what you doing? You know damn well why. You know damn well um, Sammy meant to kick Roman in the face. That's why Roman's mad. I'm mad. You should be mad too. And I like the fact that, um, oh yeah, my, my goddamn fantasy going crazy right now. I like the fact that Sammy, he, he kind of snapped back at Jimmy. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, you sitting up here coming at me like you can't trust me and I'm the bad guy when you were the one that initially accepted me first in the bloodline. You was the one that had my back. And then when I things didn't go right with me and Roman, you was the one that kicked me in the face first. And then when y'all decided to leave or whatnot, y'all ended up kicking Roman in the face. Y'all, Y'all wanted to, you was the one that wanted to follow suit. And then when Jay was trying to win the championship, you was the one that kicked Jay. You was the one that cost your own brother to win the championship. And I love that he went down all of Jimmy's history and all of his mess ups and all of his stuff that he's done wrong. I love that. That was such a great promo from Sammy saying, well, you looking at me like you can't trust me. They can't trust you. If, if that, if you want to be honest, and Jimmy's like, man, I'm not the bad guy here. And and Sammy's like, look, I know you're not the bad guy. You just make bad decisions. But I don't even hate you. I don't hate you at all. I only did this because Sammy, I only did this because of Jay. Nobody else. But after all of what's going on and y'all still accusing me again, putting me on trial again, essentially, I'm not doing none of that with y'all. I'm good. Hey, I love you, Jay. Y'all figure it out. And Sammy was done. And then that's when Jay was like, nah, Sammy. Nah, bro. Nah. Nah, nah. Uh, we we, we going to need you to come over to SmackDown, bro, because you are family. You may not be blood, but you are family. We got Jimmy Uso. We got Jay Uso. And we got Sammy Uso. And the crowd was chanting heavily for the Sammy Uso chants. They were loving them some Sammy's. Like, show up to SmackDown. So we can talk to Roman. We can all four talk. And there was a point where even Sammy mentioned when all four of us was on the same page for that one minute, it felt good. They're teasing it. And I think the only person that can really bring them all together is none other than Cuckoo Kachu the Walrus himself, Paul Heyman. Whenever Paul Heyman can come back, he's going to be the guy, the wise man, to be, he's the person to put the glue together 
to bring the uh, the bloodline on one page because if they're not on one page they're not beating the new bloodline love this segment fantastic i love these character arcs sammy being able to stand up for himself and let it be known i'm not the one that betrayed anybody in this situation you know i've always tried to be loyal to you guys so i appreciate that that was awesome right and next we got to talk about obviously what happened in the main event and they had really been teasing it up um before we even get to that my bad i want to say they talked to gunther and his loss to cody and Ludwig was trying to, you know, discredit it or whatever. And Gunther shut it down. He's like, no, Cody is a great competitor. I may not always agree with him, but he's a great competitor. And he got the best of me of that night. And I like the fact that even Gunther was like, what happened with you and Sheamus? He got the best of you. So he's like, you know what? I know what I got to do. And whoever wins tonight, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to, I got to be better. We got to be better. So it was very interesting to see Gunther somewhat humbled here. Don't know what that leads to, but we'll see. So we get into the, the Fatal 4-Way, and all the competitors essentially were like, yeah, we got three strong competitors, and then there's Dom. Everybody just disrespects Dom, so it looked like they may have been pulling the ultimate swerve and having Dom be the number one contender. I was actually kind of interested in that. But overall, this match was fun. The crowd loved it. We knew uh, that um bronson reed was going to get involved and he did towards the end of the match bronson reed ends up attacking all competitors there's no disqualification ends up packing up giving a tsunami to sheamus and um and um a damian priest gave them both tsunamis in the ring cleared off the announce table and essentially gave seth rollins a tsunami through the announce table packed them all up and Dominic was on the outside looking scared, and it looked like he was about to capitalize. He goes to the top rope, hits Sheamus with the uh, with his uh, a frog splash, and Damian Priest stops it for a very close two count. Very close. Looked like he was going to escape with it, but ultimately, Damian Priest ends up getting the win with the South of Heaven uh, finisher, and Damian Priest is your new number one contender. And as the show ends, you see Gunther facing Damian Priest once again. Damian Priest lost the championship, obviously be because of Finn Balor, but he lost it to Gunther. So we're going to get that rematch. We will see how things play out when they have their, their back and forth promo uh, segment. We'll see what where's Gunther's mind, uh, mindset is at. But the one thing I did enjoy about this, we're getting a Bronson Reed and Seth Rollins ex extended uh, program. So most likely they're going to have another match at a uh, um, Survivor Series, man. And I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully this time Gunther can, uh, um, not Gunther, Bronson Reed can get the, um, the win there. But I like the fact that he ended up attacking everybody as we expected and it was it was pretty fun and entertaining man overall solid monday night raw definitely looking forward to how things are going to play out on smackdown comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy this raw and uh are you guys excited to see what's going to happen this friday on smackdown with the bloodline but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace